good morning children i welcome back to the google classroom so our last topic in first chapter roman numerals we are taking now this is the last topic in first chapter then we can go for that topic now roman symbols you have learned already first we will use this i4 1 then v4 5 x4 10 l 50 c 100 d 500 and m is 4000 these are the symbols used for roman number system there is no numeral for zero in roman number system next there are some rules to write the roman numerals that means this two how will you write two two will write by using one writing two times one plus one two then three will write one plus one plus one then three like this we will write one letter only we can write three times only maximum we can write three times so we write four like this one v that means one five the numeral left to a bigger numeral we will subtract from this five so this one will be subtracted from five then we will get four here the smaller numeral is right to the bigger numeral therefore we will add 1 to 5 5 plus 1 6 then 7 how we will write 5 plus 1 plus 1 that means the numerals right to the bigger numeral will add the smaller numeral left to the bigger numeral will subtract here 5 minus 1 Here five plus one, five plus one plus one seven, five plus one plus one plus one. Then we got eight. Then again nine. How will you write nine? How will you write nine? Ten minus one. That means nine. Here ten plus one eleven. Then again twelve. We can write ten plus One plus one, twelve. Then how will you write twenty? Ten, two times ten plus ten, twenty. Thirty, ten plus ten plus ten, thirty. So these are the rules we are using to write Roman numerals. That means the smaller numeral left to a bigger numeral will be subtracted. the smaller numeral right to a bigger numeral will be added 10 plus 1 like this we can use then we can do some problems okay so we will do some problems first question 19 19 how can we write 10 plus 9 10 plus 9 means 10 minus 1 9 so 10 plus 9 we will write like this One subtracted from ten. Ten. First question nineteen. Nineteen means ten plus nine. Ten plus nine we will write nine. We will write ten minus one. So one should be left to ten. Ten plus nine nineteen. Next thirty six. Thirty plus six. So you will have an idea about how to split the numbers. That means thirty. We should write ten three times. Ten plus ten plus ten. Then six. How will you write five plus one? So thirty six. Twenty five. Twenty five. We can split into twenty plus five. 
20 again 2 times 10. Then adding 5 should be right to this 20. Then fourth question 27. 20 plus 7 means 20 plus 5 plus 2. So 20 2 times 10. Then 5 plus 1 plus 1. 27. So in this way we can write the given Hindu Arabic numerals that means our numbers into Roman numerals like that. Then next second question is the reverse process that means the Roman numerals will be given we have to convert into our number system. That means first question here 10, 10, 5, 1, 1, 1. So, if you want, you can split these letters 10 plus 10, then 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That means 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1, 3 times 1 is adding here. So, what is the answer? 28. Then next 10, 10 here. Then plus 10. Right numerals we are adding. 10 plus this 1 is left to 5 becomes plus 5 minus 1. That means it is 24. This is 4. This is 20. 20 plus 4, 24. So this is the way we should do the problems from this section. Okay. Our first chapter is finishing here. So I included all the exercise problems in the notes given. You open the file and do the problems in your notebook. And in another book you practice the problems again and again. Rounding to tens, hundreds and thousands. Very thoroughly you should know because some answers were incorrect in the review test. So you practice well. Stay home, stay happy, stay safe. Okay, thank you children. We will meet with another chapter again. Let us conclude now. Thank you.